News in the world of Valheim, let's go. Yes, that is a fancy new window you see right there and lots more to come. In this month's development blog, we're talking about decorative details that are coming in the Ashlands. Iron is spending most of their time ironing out a lot of wrinkles. That means things are mostly done and they're working on details. They say just like any biome, the Ashlands will feature several new mechanics, new materials, building pieces, and enemies. And it's important to get it all working smoothly, so they're trying to iron out bugs. They say the Ashlands update isn't far away now, and in order to make sure that we're prepared, they have an article put together to help us figure out what to do to prepare. Oops, that's not the info, but can you believe that costume? I just had to show it in there. That's a serious gray dwarf. Okay, getting ready for the Ashlands. It is going to be going to public test. If you decide to do the public test to get first access to it, make sure that you make backups. Like, I'm not kidding. Make backups of both your worlds and your characters. There's going to be new terrain generation, somewhat similar to how some things changed when Mistlands came out. Remember that if you've explored a lot of the Ashlands, then you're not going to have a good opportunity to get the updated content in your world. I have a video that explains how the world generation works and I'll link it up here for you to check and see. If you think you may have gone a bit too close, which may be farther away than you would think it is in order to get the new content into a current world. If you have gone into or too close to the Ashlands to get the new content in the world, the only thing that you can do is start a new seed or try to use a mod to force the content update into your world. There's a good one by Yuri Kasal. I don't ever know if I'm saying his name right. Called World Upgrade. And I'm sure he'll have it ready as soon as he can. They also talk about how Ashlands is going to have changes to the terrain generation around Ashlands. So you're only going to be able to get there by ship now. There won't be any seeds where it's connected by land to another biome. This also affects any buildings that you have in the area. I remember there were some issues with this in Mistlands. So this is going to have to do with the height of the ground being different. So is this is something that you have built now with how the terrain is. Then when Ashlands comes, this is what will happen. Something that you built will crumble. Something that was generated already because you've been there will be on a giant pillar that's really hard to reach. So you want to plan for that. They mentioned you do want to make sure that you have defeated the queen in the Mistlands. Just like in previous updates, her dropped item is no longer going to be a placeholder. But it's going to become something that's very useful in the Ashlands. And if you have the item already, like in your inventory, you might need to toss it out of your inventory and pick it up again for the new recipe to trigger properly. And they remind us that Valheim is meant to be a difficult game and it's meant to be more difficult the further you progress. And the Ashlands is the penultimate biome of the game. That means next to last, as we only have mountains left they have entirely ruled out oceans as being its own biome. And so they're giving us this reminder as a warning. If you haven't played in a while, if you're feeling a bit rusty, you might want to go get back into practice or you're going to get your butt kicked. But remember now, you can also adjust the difficulty in the world modifiers. And they also mentioned mods are going to break with Ashlands. So it will take the modders a little bit of time to update them. I did do a post earlier mentioning that they had snuck us this little idea. There's going to be over 50 new build pieces. There were just over 35 for the Mistlands update. And so that's a lot. Here's a sneak peek of a decorative window in the new wooden material, which I'm assuming is going to be considered ash wood. It's really cool looking. I like it. It's very decorative. And I like that they're giving us more stuff specifically for decoration. Makes sense that it would be black since the trees that we see there pretty much look like they're burned. I'm a little curious how this will look differently in regular building pieces as compared to the current black wood pieces that we have. The tarred wood. From this little image it looks like it could have been made from that same wood. I'm assuming that the actual build pieces themselves will look different in some way. Maybe they won't have the design on the side. We'll see. And by the way, what is this over here in the background? Um, that looks like a fortress to me. Definitely. 
That is definitely a fortress. Look at the windows. There's stairs over here. That looks like it's one, two, three, four stories tall. Is this concept art? Is this smoke and mirrors in the background? That looks like a huge fortress. But this new floor piece that they show us is really cool. I'm digging it. It's kind of a fancier look than we would have been able to get with a lot of our Viking looking houses. Look at this food sitting here by them. Is that something that we've seen before? Let me check real quick. These are the three things we've seen in the past. This is definitely new and different. Looks fiery, spicy again, like the first one. Also looks like it might have some onions in there. Another use for those? Build pieces won't be the only way to customize our home. We are going to be getting vines, as previously mentioned. And yes, they will grow something on them. Looks kind of like grapes, if you ask me. I see more meads in our future. We had been given a little peek of what these vines look like when they're growing in the Ashlands. Going up the wall, turning to red. But people were also wondering, not only do they give us something, but can they grow only in the Ashlands? Well, one of the devs shared this picture over on Twitter, showing what they look like growing on the Iron Grates. Now I'm gonna say this picture looks like it was taken in the meadows, but I would not take that automatically to mean that they will grow in the meadows. Certainly not that you would find them in the meadows to be able to grow because this is a dev. They can put anything anywhere. So it's not guaranteed, but we have this mystery statement. They will grow wherever they are able to, however, so make sure you don't cover the door. So does grow wherever they are able to mean they are only able to in the Ashlands or they will grow anywhere, wherever they can. My guess is that you have to get to the Ashlands to get them, but once you have them, they'll grow anywhere and you will not be able to walk through them. I think that's the point of don't cover the door. You could end up being stuck and have to hack them down. Iron Gate also has some plushies in their merch store now if you want to cuddle up with one of these cute little guys. The build of the month is by Detail New 37 with this lovely home. So now the big question, Ashlands when? If you like, get to the point, Vince. Leave a like and consider subscribing for more Valheim. And the answer on Ashlands, it's soon. They're kind of starting to make it sound like it's more soon than it was soon before, but it's not going to be like next week or anything, or I would say even the next two or three weeks. We have a patch in public test right now. There have been significant issues that have come up with it, and they want to make sure that those issues get taken care of before they try and throw Ashlands out there and have it be broken and have a bunch of issues with it. They're not going to do that. And so the current public test branch, which is pre-Ashlands, -Ash testing has issues right now that they're working on. This public test branch will have at least one more round. Hopefully then that'll be the last round of pre-Ashlands public testing, but that is not a guarantee. It depends on how many bugs are found. So although things are getting closer, I think it's best to spend your time focusing on sharpening those skills, getting ready for Ashlands, instead of thinking it's about to hit imminently any day. They want to put out good quality patches. That's what we expect from them. Until next time, happy gaming.